I'm Todd Jones. You're watching Tanner Hall's Behind the Line. What's that? What's going on? It's a sound that we all love. We've all grown to love over the years. At least starting up. Yesterday, biggest pow day of my life, and hopefully today is the same thing. Same area. We're gonna get it done. We got a good window. It's going down. The hell is going. It's getting crazy. I can't wait. DJI. I think more than anything, what can be said about Tanner is that um, he is incredibly passionate about the sport and he's, he's a great proponent of um, all the different aspects of the sport. Whether it's rails, park, powder, pillows, or big mountain, Tanner loves skiing. Yeah, ready to rock. Yeah. He's Jack. Stokes High with Tanner helps. Good. Tanner's been very committed the last three or four years to trying to take his riding into the big mountains and progress that style of skiing. It's not the type of thing where you roll into a place like Alaska and just because you're a great skier, you can start ripping it up. I mean, you need to be really aware of the safety issues and the snow conditions and the avalanche hazard. And Tanner really embraced that stuff and worked really closely with our lead guide, Jim Conway. No, didn't talk quite as much. Not quite as much. I'm concerned, but I'm not panicking. Something to think about. Something to think about. Oh, it's in my head. Thinking about it. He's so energetic, and yet he's so focused on doing this right. And it's an honor to kind of be able to take him out and show him some new tricks and new tools. And, and I'm surprised, I man. He's, he's knocking out some heavy hitting lines. He's got a great attitude. He's, he's getting it. Super deep in the trip and we're flying around. You know, we found this really cool wall. I don't think anyone's ever ridden it. And I knew Tanner was gonna be super jazzed on it. It wasn't super long, but it was really, really steep. Classic spine wall. That isn't a hybrid line at all. You know, that is straight up big mountain skiing. Um, you know, that's not airing off a wind lip and spinning the trick or doing a backflip, um, as cool as that stuff is. And Tanner showed that, you know, he had that in him, and, and I think he's got a lot more as well. What do you think, Tanner? Um, you know, I'm a little grip, but I'm good. I'm, good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always gripped up here, man. <laughs> Heck. Heck yeah. Make it to the bottom, it's super stoked. You ever hit anything like this before? Never, dude. Are you <laughs> kidding me? You ever seen me even come close to some shit like that? <laughs> this is it's just, just, yeah, dude. Time. Just fing A. I'm stoked. I'm not fing intimidating. Yeah. I'm just ready, dude. Yeah, yeah. me too. Tanner, how was that? Sickest run of my life, dude. We ended up naming it Prinkles because we got down to the bottom and uh, we're all eating some food after a long morning of work and Tanner pulls out this fresh uh, jar of Pringles and snaps it open and not, uh, it's not your typical mountain food. We all started laughing and that was kind of the natural name for that line was, was Pringles. Never really skied anything like that in my whole life. Dropped in, kind of bounced off a couple spines gap the spine landed in the middle in the runnel slough was going everywhere came into the bottom basically blind couldn't see my landing and hit the ground kind of got a little bit back seat but pulled up and came out riding away and just you know dude out of all the contests that i do out of everything that happens on the other portion of my career no contest will ever bring you joy like that